school days. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? Back at it with another episode of Trampoline Talk. I'm Bruce. This is Lawrence. Today we're going to be discussing uh, what I've been calling the skills matrix. I'll bring it up so you guys can see. <clears throat> uh, Lawrence, can you explain exactly what the skills matrix is? <clears throat> Basically, it's just a big grid and it serves as a graph of all of the all the two trick combos that I can do. So basically, on the top is a list of all my skills, and on the side is a list of all my skills. And the skills on the, on the side are the first skill in the combination, the skills on the top are the second skill. So if I do that combination, then I can mark that spot off. Um, so and then and then just to be clear, this is all of the skill combinations that you want to be able to do. Not the ones that you can already do. It's like the goal of the ones that you're trying to do. It's pushing you to do new skill combinations. Like, like for example, Miller straight, Miller straight. That's like something that you're going to work towards, right? Yeah, that's in. So like, for example, the top left one is back tuck, back tuck. Then we go to the right one spot, we get back tuck, back pike, then back tuck, back straight. Um, a lot of combinations that Lawrence has been working on, he's been working into and out of his full half. That's why he's got um, a line quite a bit of the way across and somewhat down on the full half. Um, <clears throat> and then there's some other some other uh, skill combinations right in the middle there, like sporadic, that skills that he hasn't worked on too much individually, but that happen um, in his routine. And Lawrence, you want to talk about the interesting part on the bottom right? Um, this part right here, bottom right, most difficult skills. That's that's the danger zone. It's the danger zone right there. So, like for example, what do you think are going to be some of the hardest combinations in the danger zone? Um, probably Miller straight, Miller straight, which is the bottom right corner. Yeah. But as well as like going from Miller tuck or Miller straight into any of my trips, yeah, it's going to be incredibly hard. difficult. So even though Miller straight, Miller straight is in the corner, it's it would be easier for me to do a trip into the Miller, obviously, mm -hmm. but doing a Miller and then getting enough power out of that to go into a trip is going to be really difficult. And obviously just making sure that you land it perfectly yeah. enough for the trip. So do you think, or can you talk about how this has helped you become better as an athlete a little bit? Well, I haven't done a lot with the skills matrix yet, um, but the one skill I have been working on with it is my full half pike. And it's really helped me because it's, it's a lot more it's a lot more fun as well to just start throwing in different skills before and after the full half pike rather yeah. than doing the same old skills over and over. So if I learn to set it up for whatever skill or with whatever skill, then I can do my full half pike a lot more consistently. Um, I think the skills matrix is really important. It pushes you to, a lot, to do a lot of different combinations that you wouldn't usually think of. And it sort of goes back to uh, Dave Ross's philosophy where he says you don't truly have a trick until you can do all of your other tricks into and out of that trick so this just pushes the versatility of the athlete as a well-rounded trampolinist I think because you should be able to do as long as you're landing if you land right which is straight up and down you should be able to do anything into and out of each trick right it's pretty much the same yeah. thing you just land like this so we're having a lot of fun with the skills matrix Lawrence was the First one, he's got version one, but we're going to come out with a couple different versions um, and we're going to start using it. What I want to have is just a binder of all of the skills matrix charts for each of the kids and then, you know, like one or two days a week, we can just pick a row and then try to fill up the whole row or something like that. See you in the next video. One take.